Hi, today we're going to be going over the spring-loaded terminals on the Genius line of controllers and receivers. If you've used a Phoenix connector in the past, you may be curious the differences. We'll go over those differences as well as best practice on how to use those spring terminals. You'll find the new terminals on our 16-port Genius Pixel controller, our 4-port Genius receiver, and our 16-port Genius receiver. Other products like the Falcon use the Phoenix connector, which is a removable screw terminal that attaches to the PCB. And if you're like me, you have a lot of these little guys all around your house. While the Phoenix connectors are great for assembling your controller, they're not so great in a production environment. Many times the Phoenix connectors can come loose and that will result in either unusual behavior or lights not coming on at all, which means you have to go in and reseat the Phoenix connector. So our solution to that problem is the spring-loaded terminals that are fixed to the PCB and have less chance of coming loose when being deployed year after year. So let's get started attaching a new pigtail to our controller. The first thing we're going to do is use our Irwin Magic Stripper and we're going to strip off about uh, one quarter of an inch off of each of these wires. And we don't recommend adding anything to the ends of your wires. We also do not recommend using tinned wire. The easiest and most effective way to make contact is actually just to use bare stripped wire and twirl. So we're going to twirl the wires just so we remove any strays before we insert them into the terminal block. And you can just use any small flathead screwdriver to push down the buttons on these terminals. It is very important to remember to push the button all the way down before you insert the wire so that you get a nice clean insertion. When we insert the wires, we want to make sure we're always inserting at a 45 degree angle. Not this way, and not this way. A nice 45 degree angle will make the wire slide in very easily. So we're going to press the button, insert at a 45 degree angle, and we're going to do that for all three wires. And when you get them all seated properly, you should have a very, very nice firm connection. Give them a nice tug and you should feel resistance and you should not feel any give in the wires. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out and email us at info at experiencelights.com. 